Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys three launchers that is going to work on OS 6 and OS 7. Only problem is this is not going to really work with your Android TV OS. So don't try it. And one more thing, there is going to be ups and downs with it. So let me review it for you guys and then I will show you how I got it. Now I have to mention that everything that I'm going to walk you through, I have already installed on this unit. So I am using Metricom's Q3 box. I know the launcher on this is nice and very simple, but again, some of the stuff that I miss from the old Chinese boxes, I want to bring it back to you guys and show you that what really works with this unit and what it does not. Remember, it's all done by shortcuts and we're not going to manipulate the APKs for those apps in order to make them run and work fully with this unit. So here you go. First you need to do is we're going to just press home because we already installed it. So the first one is called Melee number two launcher. And as soon as you go to it, this is what you're going to get. Remember to first launching this, you will be taking roughly about three minutes to set up itself. And this is what it looks. So you can see that these are just shortcuts. These are just little folders that you're going to be able to add your icons inside of it. And then you can add whichever one you want for your music. So I'll just add this for now. And that's it. Now it's in there. So if I get out and I just select music, yeah, we'll be able to see it. And yes, you will see the little flaw that the circle that has to be around the icon itself is not there. And then TV. Now you can do the same thing. So you can add your apps, something like YouTube, and then going down and you can select more if there is more apps, something like Cody. And this way it's going to be inside of this unit itself. Now going under movies, same thing. So you just have to keep selecting and adding. So if you go to games and if you have games in it, then go ahead and install it. Except that really good things are here. It says eject when you click on it, you cannot find any USB that is connected right now to the unit. So you can take it out. Also, this is the download and you can see it says not found going into this. I really thought that this is a refresher that it will clean all the background apps. When I click on it, it's telling me that what's running and if I want to stop it. So I guess it is the same, but did you see it says move, stop, uninstalled software that really throwed me off, which is this one right beside it, this writing right here. It really threw me off of what it really means, but it's there. Next thing is Wi-Fi settings. So when you click on it again, it cannot launch because it's inside of the settings. So that's not uh, really set up too. And I have another button called others. So when you click on it again, you can add the other apps that you have. So this is very simplified on your screen. The best part is the actual time. It shows up right on the top and then go on here is all the apps that you have inside of this box itself is going to show up here. Beautiful. All right. So the next part is that you can add little shortcuts in the bottom. Same way. So we're going to add this one and we're going to add the Firefox speed test and going in down a little more. And you can see that there is a few other things that is part of this, but we can just keep adding the icons. And when you press back, it's just going away. And this way you can see all of the icons there and that we can play with them. So this is the first launcher, which is called Millie 2. The next one, when we click here, it's called PHP TV launcher. This is a little bit settled down a little bit better. Uh, launcher that it really set in my heart for now. And this is what I'm going to use for a few days to see what it is. And then I'm going to the second one in a few seconds. So right now, these are just folders. So you can go to movies and you can add your apps. And same thing with XBMC. When you click on it, you can add your apps. And there you go. So let's find the XBMC. And there you go. And then just press back. Okay, it didn't add. I guess once you select it, you have to go to confirm 
and then it will add it and there you go so that's how easy it is to add these two next thing music games same thing and then you go into browser and you can add your browser so these are just folders and then if you have any streaming apps a screencast you can add them all here so this way you have full access and then mark it so same thing if you're using the aptoid or you're using the file linked or you are using the actual google play store you can add them there except that the best part is the actual time it's really nicely set up i didn't set up this part but i haven't even tried it let's try to see if it actually works and it seems like it doesn't. So again, it's uh, just a basic launcher, so it's beautiful. And when you go to My Device, when you click on it, nothing shows up. Going under All Apps, all apps are set up a little bit better and a little bit uh, spread out properly. So this way you can select them and you can play with them. So I really like this part. And then going under the all task killer beautiful this one has it when you click and this is what happens you will be able to see those little rocket going up that means it is just going to be fixed or deleted and going under settings is you're going to get the beautiful settings inside and you can go down so that way you're going to be able to see a lot of things and you can see that this device is running OS 7.1.2 I will just get out of that and going down is more icons so click on it and now you can select whichever apps that you want but it just kicks you out so you cannot add more than one at a time go on in and just select more and then go down and select more this way you have a bunch of icons in the bottom but best thing is on the top so if you are connected via ethernet or wi-fi you will be able to see it and if the bluetooth is turned on or turned off it also shows up all right so let's go to the last one that is called m8 launcher so let's click on it and let's go through to show you what they have okay so this is a little bit older type of launcher you can see everything in a main screen under home there you go home and you can see it says xbmc when i click on it nothing happens and then when i go to youtube when i click on it it will launch youtube actually it doesn't do anything this is beautiful and then skype if you have it installed it will load facebook same thing and if you have netflix just click on it and yes i got netflix and it will tell me to update so i will have to do that not right now and not in this video and also twitter and the web browser so if i have the regular web browser this will work except that go on the top go to app center then you have the play store so you can click and it will take you inside of the google play store beautiful and i will click back to the same screen there you go all right so this is my apps when you click on it all the apps comes up so you can select i really like that little 3d-ish color with a background that is beautiful and go on to the next screen if you have more apps this is how it's going to be set up under media player you don't see anything but you can add apps and this way it shows up really big icons so let's do two or three of them right now and then press back and there you go this is how it's going to show up i really like that going under smart app is where you're going to get news also the weather and i haven't set these things up and if i click on it to set up okay beautiful it actually says automatic and you can also just click on it to turn off and then you can load your location so let's try to type toronto and then use the mouse to click ok and it says cannot find i guess i have to put a little comma space ontario which is in canada and then we will click on it again okay so it cannot find at the meantime so we're not gonna waste that much of time this part i do not know if it's going to work and going on the mirror cast it does not have the app so we cannot launch it but it says speed up and it doesn't oh, actually it does work did you see in the bottom it says 15 processor killed so the that also works and then media center itself does not work but going under settings this is where I had some issues so if I wanted to click on Ethernet it would kill the whole launcher and here you go so click on it and bang now I'm on my old launcher 
Okay, so I'm back on the main screen. This was what I wanted this to happen is taking me back to the same launcher, not a different one. And again, so the only problem that I have with the M8 launcher is that when I'm in the settings portion right here, these doesn't work. But if I go down to the advanced, it's taking me inside of the advanced settings for this box itself. So these are the three launchers. And now let's change back to the main launcher, which was Metricom. And from here, uh, what we did is we went under apps. And from here, we went inside of the Firefox. And we went to filelinked.com. So I'm just waiting for this to load. And once you're here, you have to scroll down a little bit and click on download file linked. So when you do that, you get a little pop up like this in the bottom and then it says to open. So we can click open and then we can click install. Now you have to remember that I have already installed this. So if I get back out and then I'm going to say always for now and go back into apps then you will be able to see file linked. So once you install it, you should be able to see it and then just launch it. So once you get here, you will have a little pop up for the first time and you have to say okay to that. And then once you get here, you have to click on this and then you have to type the number. And there you go. So now we have to type 3132833 once it's done, go here and click on that little check mark. Or you can use your air mouse and click on continue. This is the first time you're coming in. You will be presented with this little pop up to make sure you visit our website, our YouTube channel, and make sure you give us a thumbs up. Also subscribe to us. It really motivates us to make these type of videos for you. If you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out. And once that part is done, just click on dismiss. Now what I have done is I put all the launchers, I said Android box launchers in the front on the first thing on the list. And you will get this pop up too. You can click on dismiss or you can join them. And then you can get these three launchers, whichever one you like more. For me, I really got stuck to the PHP launcher. It's nice, really smooth and it doesn't really bother your eye when you're playing with it. So I'm going to, that's what you need to click on. So once you're here, you have to click on this little down arrow and it will take a couple of seconds for it to download it like this. And then you can click on install and you can click on install it by itself. And if you get a little pop up for Google Protect, which actual Google brought that out. It is an antivirus for the Android itself. So you do not have to install anything extra. Just accept that and then you will be able to install and it will be accepted and then you will be able to use it on your box. So that's how easy it is to get these three launchers installed. I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top comment and the bottom always. Remember to visit our own website, which is xctext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.